there. Welcome back to Out of the Vault, the series where I try to make something new with some old stuff. Today we're going to do an art journal page. And I've got some old stamps here. I've got some fancy pants. And I'm going to use this Prima. It's called Elementals One Messy. It's kind of just like script and it's very non-distinct. -dis you can't really, you can't read it or anything. It's just scripty stuff. So let's make an art journal page. We're going to work on some watercolor paper. Let's see. Let's pull a big one out. Yes. This is five by seven. And we're just going to get some five by seven paper out. So this is BBE watercolor paper. If I can get it out of there. All right. So I've got some watercolor paper here. And I think we're going to turn this way. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to scribble some color all over this. I've got these um, art crayons. They're water-soluble. These are from Michael's, and I would pick them up, um, like, off the clearance rack or when they were on, you know, you'd walk in, you'd see they were on sale. So I'm just going to add a little bit of color to this page. And then I'm going to wet it and just kind of move it around. Yeah, see, clearance. Let's use this color. Oh, haven't opened this one yet. So let's see here. We've got terracotta, caramel, aqua green. I don't think I want to put that peach in there. Now let's add a little bit of this darker green. This is khaki. I'm just going to take a wet paintbrush. And this should retain some texture because this is really heavily textured watercolor paper. And we're just going to move this around, blend it out. colors to blend a little bit. I'm going to add a little more of that green in there, I think. Let's terracotta out. That's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go dry this and I'll be right back. Alrighty, now we're dry. Now you see there's all this texture on here and this kind of looks a mess right now, but the way this looks right now doesn't matter a whole lot to me because this is background. We're gonna paint and do things over it. So next, I'm gonna use one of these um, flourish, corner, flour, corner flourishes. Blah, 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 blah. I think it's going to be this fella. Now I need my giant fancy pants block for this giant fancy pants stamp. And I'm going to stamp using archival um, ground espresso. So it's a distress ink color, but in archival ink. And this is not going to come out perfect, and that's okay. And then I'm going to flip this around and do the same thing over here. So there we go. See how that background's coming along? Now I'm going to go in with the Prima Scripty stamp and some archival black soot just randomly all over this page here. And I'm not even going to put on a block. Just 
a little bit random. And that's all I'm going to do with that. So you're just building up layers. And I mean flat layers too, right? There's no dimension here. It's all flat. I'm going to go back in with this, with the black soot, and stamp again. So I'm going to position it differently. There we go. Next, I'm going to get some gesso. Well, that didn't sound nice, did it? <laughs> and I'm going to use my paintbrush here and kind of smooth it out. And I've got these. These are really old. Ranger Texture Tools. And we're going to put some gesso on here. Drag it around. And I'm just going to take what's left. I'm just going to wipe it on here. I'm going to go with my wet brush. some of those marks up a little bit so we're kind of diffusing some of the bright color on this background and adding some marks all at the same time okay let's get this dry and see how it turned out all right so that's nice and dry now I'm gonna start creating a focal point I've got this um, circle stencil because I can't do a circle to save my life and a black paint pen and a white paint pen. And we're just going to make some circles over here, kind of down towards the right with the paint pen. And then we'll do a smaller one. Another smaller one. And I'm making them kind of messy. I want them to be circles, but I don't necessarily want them to be pristine circles. <laughs> so I'm going to go dry this white paint and then do the same thing with the black. Go around, make some messy circles. Go dry this. I'm gonna go into this circle a little more of the terracotta. Trying to wipe it off of the white, just with my wet brush. And then I'm going to go in, oh, I have to shake this, why did I do that? And this black one, and add some of the green. To this black one with the turquoise. And 
There, a little extra color in there. Now for some focal images, I pulled out some Tim Holtz ephemera and stuff. You know, these are all a couple of years old. Oh, that one. So I want to use this butterfly, but you can see a little too much of that back there. So I'm going to put a little white gesso on the back just so that that background doesn't um, detract from it. And it's just gonna, just a little bit. It's not something that has to be beautiful because it's just to kind of keep the background from showing too much through the clear parts. Yeah, see, that'll be much better. And then I'm gonna glue that down with hmm, bare glue. Bear glue, always, always bear glue. Of course, you could use glossy accents for this too, if you would like. Put him on those circles at an angle. And then for my words, we're gonna use go where your heart takes you. And I'm gonna put bear glue on this because these um, stickers, they're lovely, but they do not like to stay stuck to textured things or slippery things. And then my final step, I'm gonna use some dots of liquid pearls just kind of around the focal point. We've got Bahama Bay, Succulent, and Deep Water. Dots here and there. Now we'll use Bahama Bay. Always start them off your project. Make sure they're going to come out. And then last but not least, succulent. Got to get a little green in there. Okay, that's it. I'm going to get cleaned up and I'll see you when this is dry. Alrighty, here's this week's Out of the Vault project. I did a little art journal page. This is five by seven watercolor paper. And I realized once it was too late that my sentiment is not on straight. But you know what? It's an art journal page. I'm not going to stress about it. No, no, I'm not. Everything I used on this page is at least a few years old. So that worked out well. But my items of focus were these stamps. So we've got a little Prima Element stamp and Fancy Pants very, very old. These are like circa 2010, 11 um, corner stamps that make, they're huge, right? So they're for 12 by 12 scrapbook pages, so they make great background helpers. We colored the page with these water soluble crayons. These are from Michaels. Um, they're like $3.99 a piece, I think, but I wait till they're on the clearance rack and I get them for $1.99. <laughs> or when they're like, buy two, get one free, that type of thing. I colored the whole page with those, with um, just scribbled them on and then water, and then stamped with the Fancy Pants stamps and archival ink. Add a little gesso, did some circles with some paint pens, and then for our image, I used a Tim Holtz uh, transparency butterfly and Tim Holtz word sticker, which again is not straight, but it's okay. And then for a little bit of shine and bling, we used liquid pearls. And these are, you know, these are a few years old, but such pretty colors. So we got Bahama Bay, Succulent, and Deep Water. And I love Bahama Bay. <laughs> That's probably my favorite liquid pearls color. I'm not even kidding. So y'all have a lovely day. Remember, be excellent to each other and go make something. Bye-bye.